Jeez. She needs to trick myself. Hi guys and welcome to Time with Melita with me, Melita Mahole. If you're a 10 subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to you too. While we're here, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get a notification every single time I post a video. Ooh. And follow my social to let's be friends on social media. As you guys can see by the title of today's video, I am going to be doing a live update QA. And even before we get into that, guys, compliments of the new season, compliments of the new year. I have not spoken to you guys on you know a one-on-one -on -one basis in a long time and I even feel embarrassed to say compliments in the new season were literally in March hello but I hope that the new season and this new year has been treating you guys well and I hope that everything is fine and everybody's keeping safe and hydrated in this hot weather if you guys hear a it's the fan guys it is so hot I cannot not switch my fan on it is literally 50 degrees today it is so hot we're literally enjoying the last days of summer but at what cost i love summer but at what cost i am going to be doing as i said i'm going to be doing a live update q a in january i asked you guys to ask me a few questions and i feel so embarrassed that i'm literally only filming this video now but better now than ever better now than never and guys hello she's back my braids are back i'm in my brand new era brand new season if you watch my tiktoks then you'll know what's up because i am such a pixie cut hun i've had a pixie cut for like three months and my hair was just like babes we are tired we are struggling we need peace we're tired of the heat we're tired of the mousse we are done and i was like you know what i hear it i'm tired too and i decided to go and get my braids done please the tiktok is not going to be out yet the tiktok is only going to be out next month that's watched my travel vlog that travel i think it's i'll link the video up here i give details about the lady that did my hair so if you guys want to get your hair braided just like mine just go and you know check her out let me stop rambling let me get into the question it's so crazy that i'm only doing a live update now and i feel like i owe you guys a live update because last year if you guys hear noise i'm really sorry last year you guys literally saw me in the united states then gling gling i'm packing to come back to south africa then gling i'm in south africa like how sissy how did you say that we are going but what had happened was, if you guys don't know, I was an au pair in the United States and then now I relocated back to South Africa. I au pair there for two years and to be honest, it was such an amazing time. And I think the reason why I did not even speak about me, like coming back home and a life update about that is because I kind of wanted to distance myself away from that season of my life. I know that it sounds crazy to say, but I just felt like I just wanted to distance myself away from that season because I was like, oh, he lived it, he felt it and now it's done and i was just so focused on what's going to be happening next like what is you know the new season that i'm stepping into what does it have for me what does it have for me that i was not even thinking about like oh my goodness you used to be an au pair this and that and like when people would ask me questions i just say yeah no it was cool anyway and i just didn't want to talk about it and like i just didn't want to embrace it there's absolutely nothing wrong with it because it is such a beautiful season for me personally it was such a beautiful season like the last part of it was a beautiful season but then i just did i did not want to acknowledge it i don't know why i just felt like i was just running away from the feelings that i felt and i think towards the end it did become quite difficult for me because i was there was just so much anxiety about the future i was worried i did not know what was going to be happening next like i was just i was not having a good time in the end it's, it's sad that i kind of like just want to shove it just wanted to shove it away but at the same time i was like ah because i was like ah dude it's over it's done with i need to focus on what has to be happening next but it's just like such a beautiful season and i'm so proud that i was able to do that and experience you know being an au pair living in the united states and being independent and then another thing is also that i felt like when i came back home i just needed to get time on my own and just like you know calm down and recollect and find myself because i felt like i had given two years of my life like literally two years two years and i know that people give like more of their life to like issue but i was like i literally gave two years of my life on doing vlogs weekly vlogs spend the day with me spend the weekend with me spend the week. like i was like you know what I just want to be in the present and I want to live life and experience life living in South Africa and just being a normal babe living in South Africa, you know? So I was like, you know what? I just wanted to be fully present. That's why I also kind of stopped uploading videos and I stopped being consistent. And I'm really sorry, but the good news is that after this video comes out, there are videos that are going to be coming out that I filmed 
throughout February and March. So you guys, we're going to be back to regular programming and I'm going to be uploading every week if I can. And the vlogs of 2023, like there's so many 2023 content that I'm just like, I'm not going to upload it anymore because I'm like, what's the point? I'm just going to keep it on my hard drive and I'm just going to watch it and let, you know, my friends, not my friends, but like my kids watch them one day and also for me to just watch them one day. So yeah, it's just interesting. It is just interesting. But let me get into the questions and stop rambling. Leaving the questions on the screen so that you guys can see them and then I'm just going to be answering them. So I am a former au pair, but I did not stay in the United States. I relocated back to South Africa. So yeah, I've been doing very good to be quite honest. I feel like this is the most at peace and content I felt in a very long time because now I'm not worried about, you know, my papers expiring. I'm not worried that, you know, I don't, I'm not anxious about the future. Well, I'm still anxious about the future, but I feel like my anxiety on the future is not based off of my visa expiring. I don't know what's going to be happening next. Am I am I going to be going to school? And am I getting am I going to be getting married? Am I going to you know like I feel like being an au pair, there's just so much anxiety and so much uncertainty in what's going to be happening next after your pair. So I feel like the fact that right now I'm in such a peaceful state and I'm so content and I'm just so much happier. I'm not saying that I wasn't happy then. I was happy but like right now i'm just like so much happy i'm just like you know i don't have to i don't have to be nervous all of the time if i can say so i don't have to be anxious or like antsy all of the time i am living in pretoria 012 i'm not going to be specific about where exactly but i am in south africa pretoria 012 i think that i would i always joke with my mom and i'm like if the last time from san francisco is to call me right now as i am filming this video i'm like Mudetine, can you please come in or pay for us i am running i'm taking my phone and i'm running to our temple and i'm gonna go do it for them but I feel like maybe I would I think that I would go back and okay but I just said I've been doing very good 2024 hey guys 2024 yeah so but then the things hmm, I don't even know what's going on in this year and this year has yeah. 2024 my baby I need something magical to happen but the reason, as I said, the reason I've been missing on the red app is also because I just want to be fully present in my life and I've literally just been focused on being a student and also work. And then I feel like like the work aspect is like literally a completely different topic, but I'll get into it. There's me a ticket to go to San Francisco, then I will definitely go back to San Francisco because it is literally so expensive to go to San Francisco. I have a visa. So if somebody wants to invite me, invite me i have a visa i just need a ticket that's gonna get me san francisco like a round trip ticket would be great but yes i do see myself you know going back to san francisco and going to visit because i do have a few friends there and all i need to do is just be really serious about saving up money and going to san francisco Yo, <laughs> that question makes me kind of laugh but it also makes me just so grateful because i feel like you know when you have a vision board you can't be like you kind of have a linear this is me in my head like you have a linear vision of how you want you, you know how you want to meet your goals in the specific year and you're like okay i'm gonna be going straight this year i'm meeting my goals like this like like oxala i'm gonna be getting to those goals that i want to get to but then i'm not meeting them in the way in which i thought that i'd be meeting them or how they placed on um my vision board but my major plans one of my major plans this year was for me to enter 21k marathon and run and i was you know i started training and everything but i had torn my meniscus and i'm currently covering my meniscus and how i tore my meniscus that's like literally um let me, long story short i tore my meniscus well i hurt my knee a few like two years ago and i just never attended to it and then this year i was like you know what i'm gonna invest in my health health as well and when I visited my house, I was like, I'm going to go to physiotherapy. Went to physiotherapy, told me that I need to recover my meniscus. It is recoverable and I am recovering, which is really great. But then they just told me that I had to pull out the marathon that I was training for. And it's sad because I, like, I was really consistent. I was really consistent in my training. One, two, I had literally just started going to the gym. 
the week before i told that i'm not allowed to like do any like anything that's heavy for my knee i'm not allowed to do like weightlifting i'm not allowed to do running because they it is a very impactful sport um, i'm not allowed to walk fast anymore and anybody that knows me knows that i am a very fast walker so i had to stop that so that was one of my major plans of this year and another major plan is just to be able to achieve all the things that are my vision board and slowly but surely i am achieving them i have a quick thought to share i feel like many of the times in my life impromptu plans happen a lot so it's very hard to predict a good plan or whatever plans I have upcoming like being a like being a distinction babe the whole year until I graduate like just being a distinction babe that is another major uh, major plan is it a plan another plan is to obviously travel I feel like traveling is it's inside of me it's inside of me but like traveling would also be a lot of fun so just trying out new things i feel like right now i'm in an area in a season where i want to really try out new things and i'm not i'm i'm trying to not let imposter syndrome get the, get in the way of me being able to try all of these new things so i feel like i don't have a specific major plan the pairing has been very interesting i feel like like of life of the pairing is real adulting because i feel like being on a pair and I think that I've said this before is like you're still in high school, you're still protected, like oh, 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 sharp, oh, depending on the situation that you're in. And then life after parents like you, you're a real adult. There's you need to actually find an actual job. You you <laughs> then the agencies they don't prepare for life after a parent as much as for example they offer you or like let you know about the job opportunities they have available but then the way in which they prepare you to become an au pair they don't prepare in the same way for the real adult world because <laughs> baby you're literally on your own but then i feel like i me personally i think that i prepared myself well for life after preparing in the sense that i decided to go back to school before i even ended my repair program and then i was in school so i prepared i i'd like to believe that i prepared myself well in terms of the employment aspect i wish that i would have prepared but then there's only so much i did prepare like for jobs and stuff but then there's only so much that i can do especially with like the you know job market in south africa at the moment it is quite bad so there is only so much that one can do i believe and i hope that i you know i did my best you know to be honest at the beginning it was very tough it was very tough for me to adjust to the reality of being back home in the sense that like you know usually when you leave a place and then you come back you feel like there must be massive changes especially if you lived in a big city because i in san francisco i lived in a big city because it was a walkable city and right now for example i am in walking distance to like the mall that i need to get to i'm able to catch a bus if i want to get to a hard train station i'm able to catch a train to get to wherever i need to go to but then i need to catch an uber to get into like certain parts and then like i feel like from getting from living in a place where i was able to walk to the beach and just go run to the beach or walk like everything is in walking distance from you and living in a big city it was kind of like a major shift like okay i'm back home and also remembering that now that i'm coming back home i need to go back to my childhood bedroom the bedroom that i had outgrew and i had to i had to change a lot when i came back home i remember the very first night that i came back home i literally took all the pictures out like all took all the pictures off that i had on the wall because i was just like this is not the money team that i am i like i clean out my closet the same day as much as i was so tired i was like these things don't define me anymore it was quite a bit adjustment because it's like i left here young and then i came back and i obviously you grow as a person and i was like oh my goodness i've grown and i feel like i've grown so many things um but it was very interesting it was a very interesting transition i don't know if i'm answering the question correctly because i'm able to spend time with my friends i'm able to spend time with my family i am more at peace it just makes me so happy and it also makes me happy the fact that there's like there's certain things that if i decided not to come back to africa i wouldn't have been able to do and opportunities that i wouldn't have you know been able to unlock or release that i did and yeah as I said, the only thing that sucks is the fact that there's load shedding it's inconvenience you when you go into different places or when you go into the store and then now it's like, ah oh, damn, <laughs> there's load shedding you. You know, the, the economic state of the country is just... Uh. As a student that does politics, I'm just like, whew.
<laughs> I don't regret it, but I feel like I could have done, I could have made, I could have planned better to come back home in the sense that I feel like I could have planned, for example, to buy myself a car. And it didn't hit me when I was living in the United States. Like, oh my goodness, plan to buy yourself a car. I did not think about that. It only hit me after when I came back home and like, you could have saved up to buy a car. And obviously if I was gonna save up to buy a car, I would have not been able to travel as much as I did or, you know, to my capacity and experience, you know, all the things I was able to experience and, you know, save up to buy a car. So I feel like I could have, you know, for example, saved up to buy a car because it is quite an inconvenience to get to places because asthma, golly, Uber is so expensive. <sighs> Red train is just spiking up their prices. I would have saved up to buy a car, but I don't regret coming back home at all because this is something that I want to do and it's a choice and decision that I, you know, I had to speak with myself for quite some time with it and make sure that I was okay with it. And I remember even having this conversation with my mom when she was in San Francisco with me and I was like, okay, are you sure that you want to come back home? Because there were many other options like either get married, you stay here or you go to school. But then I was like, it doesn't make sense for me to enroll in school if I'm already in a school. It doesn't make sense for me to get married because I, at that time, because I'm like, who am I going to get married to? And I remember on the mantle, I think I spoke about this topic with the choice and decision that I made to come back home. And I feel like some things are for a certain season in our lives. And if I'm meant to go back, then I'm going to be able to go back. And yeah, it was my season to come back home. Quit being an au pair. <laughs> my contract ended. My two years was, was done. My time was up. And I decided to come back home. The way in which the rent is doing at the moment, it is quite expensive to travel. Yeah. Like guys, the rent is being so bad. That time there's so much inflation. Like I'm just thinking about having to leave the house and going somewhere. A good 500 rand is already being spent. You want to eat a good another thousand is being spent. You like, and especially when you're using Uber to travel, it just costs a lot more money, unfortunately. But then it is expensive to travel. One thing about sales economy, I don't like it. I don't like sales economy at all. It gotta go. It gotta go. Cause I am literally just a girl. <sighs> I really don't have any excuses, but I don't, I think the last episode that I had posted was last year. And then I remember that I went into a rut because winter was coming and usually in winter, when winter starts, cause I love summer so much and I love spring. I just, I just close off. And I feel like that was like that was the time when I started to close off and then I just didn't have any motivation to upload any more podcast episodes because I was just in a rut. I was I felt very low at that time. I felt extremely low. And then you know I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna upload. And then every single time I was like, mm, why don't you record? The whole day would pass and I'm like, mm, you can do it tomorrow, you can do it tomorrow. And then I just tomorrow became next week, the next week became next month, and next month became radio silence so i hope that this year because one of my plans for this year was to be able to get back onto the mantle <sighs> i just need encouragement to go back i think another thing that's also goes back to the imposter syndrome i'm letting the imposter syndrome get the most of me and i'm supposed to i'm supposed to beat that girl because imposter syndrome has no hold on me but then hopefully this year i will be able to get back onto on the mantle and start recording podcast episodes again because i enjoy it so 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 much but hopefully like hopefully this year i'll be able to get back into it i'm currently a student i'm a daughter i'm a friend i'm a content creator i'm a tiktoker too guys before even getting further like if guys i enjoy making tiktok so much so if you have the time to please go and watch my tiktoks because i have so much fun on tiktok so there is that i enjoy tiktok a lot i also work part-time i'm a videographer so if you guys need a videographer i'm your girl i am also an editor part-time so if you guys need an editor i am your girl but then currently i am back into the job market because my contract ended for the job that i was working for so my contract ended and like i want to really be serious about content creation and like co creating content again and um 
and also on tiktok because i have so much fun on tiktok and i feel like the thing that makes me so excited about tiktok is that it feels like a brand new me or like a brand new era of me in the sense of on tiktok i am Muritime Hole that i'm not Muritime the au pair or like Muritime the ex au pair i'm just Muritime Hole that's why i feel like it made sense for me to start my tiktok account last year and just be a brand new person it's still the same me but then you know it's just like a just, there's no pay content it's just me i'm just so grateful that i am a student and that i'm able to work part-time and that i do have clients that really allow me to edit for them and guys it's so interesting i edited i it makes me want to cry but i filmed i was the creative director i filmed well i was a creative director i shot and i edited a campaign for somebody and the campaign won a competition and i'm just like oh my goodness my goodness that's so crazy my work but obviously it is there so fulfilled i'm like oh my goodness this is so amazing so yeah guys if you need somebody that's going to be doing all that for you hit me up i'm your girl email me email me don't email me about silly things i beg of you i guys i beg of you please <sighs> guys please don't email me about silly things i'm asking nicely i'm looking cool because the job market in south africa it's it's really hard to find a job and i'm like i know graduates that are looking for jobs and i'm like if you're a graduate that's currently looking for a job and i'm just you know still a student that's looking for a job guys it is so stressful having to like for example go for interviews and then i'm um, going for interviews and and like sending emails and applying for all these different jobs but you know what one thing about god he will definitely he will definitely pull through because we serve such a loving and loving God. But that aspect is really not easy. But then you just need to keep positive. I feel like keep being positive and keeping the faith is literally the best that one can do in, you know, in this situation. I'm not. I, as I said, I'm a child of God. I'm a student. I am a daughter. I am a friend. I'm a content creator. But a girlfriend, hopefully soon. To be honest, I, I feel like I'm starting to enjoy school now because I feel right now, like now in this season, I really feel motivated about school. So I'm just like, yeah. And I'm so motivated because I feel like I just see myself graduating. I see like the finish line. So I'm like, yeah, I'm almost at the finish line. You got this, you got this. I've been good. This year has really just been a year of so many surprises. Things that I did not expect to happen this year are happening this year. Um, Things, guys, I feel like there's just so much beauty in a year as much as the year just started and we're in March but then just so much beauty in the year and we're also in Lent so that is also just like an exciting time and exciting season and it's like okay Easter's gonna be coming soon guys we're almost literally at the halfway mark of the year which is also so amazing but it's just like I I feel really good about this year as much as things unfolded in a way that I would have not expected them to unfold but then this year has really been beautiful and I really I am really good like today I'm really good the past two three days I've been mm. and I think another thing that's also been making me very good is the fact that I started therapy which I do highly recommend for all of you guys if you guys have you know the money to or the opportunity to please do put yourself in therapy because I remember when I was on a pair one of the things that i wanted to do again is is you know is go to therapy but then therapy is quite expensive and then when i came back home i was like i'm gonna go to therapy and i never just i never did it but then since i'm investing myself like this year i am really investing in myself and snuggle would be so proud of me because number one health is wealth and she would always drive me so like, hey, i'm investing myself and i'm like this year i am fully investing myself this year therapy therapy investing in you know my craft investing in me like it's really brought me a lot of joy and it's like there was nothing that was wrong it's just like you know sometimes you just need somebody to speak to other than you know friends and family and something that's going to be very rigid with you and my therapist very great guy <laughs> he's cool because one thing about me is that he will literally call me out on my nonsense which i really needed and also another thing that also makes me happy is that things that i thought that i'd worked through on my own i had not really worked through and were working through them and things that i do not think were of issue are things that are being brought to life and it's like oh my goodness i actually need to work on this which is a lot of fun invest in yourself because you are your biggest investment and my biggest is is it investing in yourself because you're your biggest investment but like investing in yourself because you're your biggest prize 
you are your biggest prize you you deserve everything like you deserve all the good things so all the questions that i'm gonna be answering and i'm just so excited to also just come back onto the red app and you know grace you guys with my presence do you make sure that you are subscribed so that you're able to watch all the next videos that i'm gonna be posting which i'm really excited for it's not old content guys i promise you it's all new content though i do have a pixie cutter literally like three weeks ago content like three two like it's like it's literally february content and i'm also going to be giving you guys content of this new season and going forward but i'm really excited to be back on youtube and also just be consistent to like be consistent i need to really hold myself accountable in the consistency era but i don't want to pressure myself because i feel like when I, I i remember when i used to pressure myself into posting i would burn and crash and then i would just and then you know so I, was, I just shut down so i'm like this year i don't want to do that i don't want to force myself to do any of that and also guys please follow me on tiktok it's a lot of fun over there i have fun on tiktok i also have fun on baby talk if you know you know so hope that you guys enjoyed this video and this video you know it was fun for you guys and i will literally see you guys in the next one bye